Nowadays, almost everyone suffers from too much stress, and a lot of people also have an overactive nervous system. So in this video, I want to discuss the three best natural sedatives that you can use to calm your body down. They're all minerals that can be bought as supplements, and I personally take them every day. You will learn what these three minerals are, how exactly they calm down your brain and nervous system, and how to supplement them correctly. So to start off, what is this list of three natural sedatives? They are magnesium, calcium, and zinc. Now, I know that these three are very common minerals that everyone has heard of before. And you might be thinking that this isn't revolutionary advice and that you know these minerals already. But let me tell you that 99% of people don't supplement them correctly. So they don't get to see their full benefits and take advantage of these benefits. Some people even get negative side effects when they take them. For example, heart palpitations from magnesium or muscle spasms from calcium. All this usually comes down to improper supplementation, which we will talk about at the end of the video. First, let's talk about why magnesium, calcium, and zinc are so important for your physical and mental health and also for calming you down. For this, you need to understand how our body's stress response works together with these minerals. This will show you why they are more important than any other supplement that you can take for anxiety or an overactive nervous system. As you already know, our body reacts to stress through the nervous system, especially the autonomic nervous system that you can control. This is divided into the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the famous fight or flight reflex, while the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the rest and digest reflex. Let's assume you come into a stressful situation. Then the sympathetic nervous system will take over. It activates certain nerve signals that lead to tense muscles, high blood pressure, and high adrenaline. This is all to get you to act and to react quickly and efficiently to danger or a stressor of any sort. Now, when the stressful situation is over, in theory, the parasympathetic nervous system should take over again. But without calcium, magnesium, and zinc, this isn't possible. For example, magnesium blocks the activity of stimulating neurotransmitters such as adrenaline. That's why it's often called a natural beta blocker. It also binds to calming GABA receptors, which help keep you in a peaceful state. Now, if you're magnesium deficient, all this won't work. So you're stuck in constant fight or flight and your nervous system really overworks. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency and sympathetic dominance, so being stuck in fight or flight, are very common today. Almost everyone is magnesium deficient and almost everyone needs a magnesium supplement. Next, let's talk about zinc. It works different from magnesium, but also helps to calm you down. Mostly by blocking copper, which is a very stimulating mineral that many people have too much of in the tissue. This is called copper toxicity, which is discussed in a different video. It often just sits in the tissue, cannot be used, creates oxidative stress, so inflammation, and overstimulates the nervous system. For example, in an old experiment where participants either took 5 mg of copper or 5 mg of dexedrine, which is a drug that increases adrenaline, it was found that copper and the drug exhibited about the same stimulation of the nervous system. Just think about that. On the one side you have a mineral and on the other a prescription drug, and they almost work the same. Zinc is a natural copper blocker, so it helps lower the biounavailable copper in your tissue and reset your nervous system. One study looked into this and compared the mineral status of people with chronic anxiety to that of people without anxiety symptoms. And what they found was that the group with chronic anxiety had significantly higher copper levels and very low zinc levels. And also their anxiety improved after they started supplementing zinc regularly. And lastly, we have calcium. Calcium always works together with magnesium and it regulates cell permeability. Cell permeability describes how receptive a cell is to nutrients and nerve signals. The more calcium you have around the cell, the less receptive a cell will be. Now having too much calcium isn't a good thing either, but having too little or no calcium around your cell really means that it will be overstimulated by everything. So for example, by thyroid hormones, but also by nerve signals. 
People who are too sensitive to sounds, smells, and other types of sensory information often have a calcium problem. They often need more calcium. The thing is, though, that calcium supplementation is a complex topic because you do run the risk of soft tissue calcification if you take too much and if you don't take it with the necessary cofactors. So please watch my video on how to take calcium correctly to not run into this mistake. Great, now that you understand the biochemistry behind all of this, what does it mean in terms of practical advice? The first thing you have to understand is that these three minerals, so magnesium, calcium, and zinc, are essential for a properly functioning nervous system. You cannot do without them. They are integral to your biochemistry and your body was designed to run on them. I know that many influencers and supplement brands tell you to eat this superfood or take this herbal supplement for your anxiety. But please understand that they are not an integral part of your relaxation system. These three minerals that I'm talking about now are your body can only really calm down if you have sufficient levels of them, which in many cases means supplementing them. Unfortunately, simple things like acute stress or just sweating really depletes magnesium, calcium and zinc. Our body does this on purpose because it wants to get revved up to get you ready for action. But when you don't refill these minerals afterwards, you really lose your ability to properly calm down. This can not just result in anxiety, but also in sleep problems and muscular tension. It really affects your overall system. Unfortunately, most supplement advice around magnesium, calcium and zinc is pretty bad. So to help you optimize your diet and supplement intake, here's what I recommend you do. First, please avoid multi-mineral supplements that try to give you all of them in one dose. They're not customized to your biochemistry and to your nutritional individuality. So they really don't take into account what you need and what you might have too much of. Like I said before, calcium is an example where many people have too much in the tissue and not enough bioavailable that their body can use. So instead of taking a multi-mineral or multivitamin supplement, Get your nutrient status tested correctly, I explained this in a different video, and also learn how to take each mineral, so calcium, magnesium, and zinc, separately in the right doses. This is also explained in my other videos. If you then need some further guidance, there are practitioners who are specialized in this. I have a list of the best practitioners, at least in my opinion, in the world who work with international clients, so you don't need to live in their country to work with them. Please understand that fixing your nutrient deficiencies and imbalances takes time, especially making calcium bioavailable again, detoxing biounavailable copper, and fixing a magnesium deficiency. All that stuff can take time, not just days and weeks, but sometimes months or even a little longer. Have patience and you will see results, I promise you. 